Hello you guys, today we are going to start with our React Native tutorial. So I'll be starting to build an application right from the scratch and I will also let you know what are the expected errors and how to resolve them as far as I can. So yeah, let's get started with making our basic application. Okay. So the command that's going to build our application is actually react native init. Okay, that means initializing your project. So, and I will give this application the name my first app, RN app. Okay. So this is the name of my application. So I will start building it and I will press enter. Okay. And it will start to initialize and do all the packaging part and everything. It will build a basic lookout of the application. Now, I will be doing this uh, every this step after I initialize everything that I, you know, setting up the environment variable that's that's the most basic thing you must be knowing you need to know so just in order to find it out that how to make a react native application just write react on the web and this is the first link that you're going to find and here we go getting started so this is basically what's opening up and now I need to go to the environment setup that's going to basically give you the environment through which you can build your React Native applications. So, yeah, you and the thing that you need to know is that in this particular tutorial, we'll be making core, you know, React Native CLI quick start applications. We will not be using the Expo framework. So, we are going to make React Native core applications. So, the part that you need to follow for this particular tutorial is setting up the development environment and through Windows, Android, Node, JDK and everything and just follow this tutorial and everything that's perfectly done and just have the Android Studio in case you are trying to run your applications on an emulator. Even if you're trying to run your application on an actual device, even then you need an Android Studio and the environment variable should be you know set so meanwhile we'll just check that how far our application is reached well it's still in the process so I just go through everything that's need to set up like your local app data you need to just uh, you know just follow this whole part up till you know till here Okay, so in my case, I do not need to initial, uh, you know, I do not need to mention the NPX part. Rather, I just can use the React Native in it just like that. Okay, so in some parts, you need to, you know, use in some systems, basically, you need to use the NPX as well. But in mine, as I showed you, I can just use it, the React Native command just like that so okay i'll just uh, tell you okay so and uh, let me just see how far it's gone okay it's going to take time a bit so i'll just fast forward whatever is going to happen okay oh it's done okay so i don't need to fast forward it. okay so now I'm just going to run the application and tell you what's going to happen. Let's just check out. So in order to run your application, just write React Native and just mind the hyphen in between because it's really to the point. You cannot go around exper experimenting with it, like removing hyphens, let's just see what happens. Well, it's going to say that, you know, this command is not going to re get recognized, just like, so in case you just want to see that, see, it says React is not recognized as an internal and external command. That means you're not using a hyphen. So just 
be very sure that using the exact uh, word is very very important if there is a hyphen there needs to be a hyphen you cannot experiment with a hyphen so okay now i will write the run android command right away okay. it says now the problem was that i wasn't in my project i'm very very sorry about that mine was my first react native app so mm -hmm. now i'm going to write the react native run android and let's just see what happens yeah it started working now meanwhile i'll just open the android studio part now in the comment box please let me know if you want to know how the environment setup has to be done so i'll just take you through every single thing that needs to be taken care of in that you know particular part so yeah okay so it's just starting the emulator through this and everything it's going to just start the application right away if you're using react native run android okay this is my emulator this is my previously used made application that's there now okay i'll just remove whatever is happening on this emulator so that you don't get confused just go away okay yeah fine so uh, let's just see yes this is the error that i wanted to know i've been wanting to show you now it says that failed to install the app now basically the, the when i made the react native application which is i don't know yeah here so when i made this application you need to just go in the code part so let's just go in the code part over here um that's going to be opening in the vs code which is the ml uh, which is the editor that i'm using okay you can use whatever editor you find comfortable with i am very comfortable with the vs code part so i'll be using this one so now here what you need to uh, change is you need to go to the android folder because we were running the run android command and that showed us the error so you'll be going into the gradle folder there you need to find the gradle wrapper properties now can you see here the 6.2 all dot zip yes now here the version that we are going to use is basically the 6.2 Point four point one hyphen all. So I'll just copy this command. I'll mention this command in my uh, description part so that you can just copy it right away. And I will just paste it in here and save it and just try to run the application all over again. So here it is. Well, it's basically the version of the gradle that's being used the rocket science is over here so it'll start running which i'm pretty sure of it so let's just check whether it does or not oh it does as you can see it's writing installing the application that means everything went fine and it is okay with the version that i mentioned and it's working so as the time passes and the you know advancement with the gradle and everything whatever suitable versions your react native application will be supporting you need to know that and mine was using the 6.4.1 so i had to use that one but in, in previous applications that i earlier made there was three six point six point three point one that i used so yeah you need to be very well aware what gradle your what version of the gradle your application will be supporting so yeah pretty much this can be one of the reasons why your react native applications aren't running so let's just find out how far but 99 percent that's quite cool so in the meanwhile uh, we'll also just let's just wait how far it goes okay so 
Yeah, that's it's done. And it's running. That means everything went particularly fine. Now. Yeah. So it's working. As you can see, this is the basic way of making a basic application. The uh, the basic way you need to, you know, ch you can change accordingly whatever you want to mention. So, yeah. Now, one of the another problems that have been witnessed by me is that sometimes here it is written unload, uh, unable to load script. In that case, you need to, you need to just do something weird is that you need to tell that you need to just run the metro bundler of the application as separately and go into another you know the command line or uh, the command um the cmd of the project and you do run the application separately that means in one of the cmd you will be running the react Native. just let me show what i'm going to do so Basically, I'm just going to stop the Metro Mandler here, which was uh, automatically evoked with the help of the React Native run Android. But sometimes even those commands uh, pose problems. So in that case, I'll be doing something weird, which is React Native start. This will actually... Uh, exclusively just start the metro bundler for the application so as you can see the metro bundler has started now i'll be just going to the project folder or i'm just going to open another uh you know uh cmd for the folder and i will just run the react native run android Command separately, and as you could see, that when I close the application, it started to show here cannot connect to the Metro Bundler. But now, when the application will be completely running, this this little yellow warning will be gone, and my application will be running just fine, which will which you guys will see in a few moments as it is 99 percent i mean everything is working fine and yet again the application is running so in case these two uh, of the problems that you know i have told you uh, you can resolve your uh, you resolve your issues just like this okay so Rest of the part we'll be discussing in the next tutorial. Let me tell, uh, just let me know in the comment box that did you like the solutions that I told you and did they work? What else problems you want me to address? And uh, yeah, we'll meet someday. We'll next time. Okay. Yeah. Bye.